in-depth, investigative. This is KXAN News. Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us here on KXAN News at 4. I'm Will Dupree here with senior science reporter Eric Hendrickson. What we're showing you right now is the launch of one of SpaceX's uh, starships. This is a launch that is happening right now along the Texas coast near Brownsville. Eric, as we're watching this play out right now, tell us a little bit about this device that's being blasted off. Yeah, this rocket is really, really cool. It's a super cool rocket. It's two phases. So what you're seeing now is the heavy booster that's launching it up. At the very tip there is the actual Starship rocket. And what's cool about the Starship rocket, it's what we're going to use to go to the moon and Mars in the future. Mm. But we need to be able to get it into space first. So this is the sixth attempt to get this ship into space. And what they're hoping to do today is the heavy booster is getting it up into the atmosphere. It's going to release from Starship and then Starship's going to try to ignite its engines in space. It hasn't done that yet. There's been a few issues in the past, so fingers crossed this is the day that actually happens. Yeah, and again, if you're just joining us, we're showing you a live picture from near Brownsville where SpaceX's Starship has launched off just a few moments ago. What we do know is that they're in South Texas. President-elect Donald Trump is watching this launch alongside Elon Musk, who is, of course, the owner and the person behind this company there. And Eric, remind us again, this booster is going to help a mission potentially to Mars. And as we're showing you a live look there at uh, even Senator Ted Cruz and President-elect Trump joined by several others there watching this launch. Yeah, it's super cool. So this is part of the Artemis mission. It will be used on those missions to the moon and Mars in the future. The heavy booster that you see, the thing that's lit up right now, this is part one of two. The second part's on the very front. You can't really see that super well at this distance at this point. So the heavy booster is really cool because it can launch it up into space without having fuel. Hmm. So then the Starship, which is the head of the, you know, the, the nose cone of this rocket can then take us to the next place. What's also really cool is, I believe it's called the Mechazilla Tower, is the tower at SpaceX. When the heavy booster separates from the top there, uh, from the actual Starship, it's supposed to fall down and be caught hmm. by this Mechazilla Tower, and it succeeded last time. Yeah, so, I've seen fingers that crossed video. it doesn't do. It's so cool, right? Right, so it's supposed to come basically back down to Earth right. and park again in that device. SpaceX has been really good about re-entering rockets and having them land. Up until recently, they've done it at sea. The Falcon mm. 9 rockets, they land at sea on this mm -hmm. big platform. These now, it's, it's a catch mechanism. It's a big robotic arm comes out now. Yeah, well, I'm so glad that you were here to kind of walk us through this and uh, showing this pretty exciting development there in South Texas. What we're watching again is the SpaceX launch of the Starship booster. Is that it blowing up? I don't know. Well, <laughs> we're showing you this live picture, so who knows what's happening there. It almost looks like a sonic boom it has gone the, off yeah, around there. I think it's there. a separation right there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's separated right there. So the, the booster is falling upwards, and the Starship itself is the little white dot close to the bottom of your mm. screen. Mm -hmm. And there, there's a view from Look at that. Look at that wow. should be Starship right there. Okay. And they're going to test to see if they can actually get the engine going in space, which takes a little bit more... A little more <laughs> physics going on there. And reportedly there's a lot of cheering happening right now. So obviously they're very excited about what's been unfolding here uh, just above South Texas. Yeah, it's so neat. It's actually, uh, hopefully it works because we really need this. The plan is to go by the end of the decade to the moon and to start kind of colonizing the moon. Mm. And we need vessels like this to get up there and land and kind of, we have a space station we're going to build around the moon. All these different steps that it takes for we even get to Mars, live on the moon long term. And this is part of that journey. It's a big rocket. It can take a lot up there. Wow. Oop, is that it igniting right there? Or is it breaking the sound barrier? Ah, oh, it's so cool. Still watching this live at the moment. And uh, again, Eric, what we're going to hopefully see is this come back down to the Earth and then reattach to a device there. Yes, yeah, so that'll be the heavy booster will fall. This is Starship itself we're looking at, and it looks like it is igniting, so everything should be going well. It did not explode. Hmm. A few of these have exploded, that's why I'm <laughs> saying that. Right. This one looks like it's very successful. This is the sixth attempt to get this up in the atmosphere, the first attempt to get the engines going in space, and it looks like that's happening. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's amazing that it's, it's going on. Again, it's like first steps to the, to the moon. Hot stages of jettison is what we've just been told. So yeah, things are working out just as they hope. <laughs> These are the steps that uh, this launch is involving to uh, back down there on Earth, watching all of this unfold is, as we mentioned a few moments ago, President-elect Donald Trump alongside Texas Senator Ted Cruz, and of course, Elon Musk, who is the person who is funding this company, SpaceX, trying to get these boosters and uh, eventually advance this technology enough to create more space flight for, for the U.S. Right, there's so much space industry in our state. You know, NASA is, has John Space Center based here. We have Firefly Aerospace based here in Cedar Park. Blue Origin launched out. So right. Texas and space go hand in hand. It makes sense to have the next step of our evolution into the stars happening 
in our lovely state, and you get to see it live, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> Look at that. I like how my favorite part about seeing space is just how pitch black it is. You I, think there'd be tons of stars. So gorgeous to be able to look through that vantage point back down to Earth as that uh, booster is there up in space. And the ultimate plan is for this, once it's coming back to Earth, it's going to head towards the Indian Ocean where it's going to land there, and I believe it's going to land in daylight hours in hmm. the Indian Ocean. Oh, he's heard no go on the catch. Uh, the heavy booster is not going to be caught by the tower. So. Okay. That's the latest update for you all. Again, a no-go on a catch uh, back on Earth as we watch this um, all unfold live right now on your screens there in space. Really, really neat. It reminds me of like mouse trap. You know, we have to get all the pieces to move at the right time. Yes. The, for the booster to be caught, it has to fall at the right spot for the robot arm to reach up and grab it and it's all these different steps. For a uh, starship here to land in the Indian Ocean, we're a little land there. That's all these different steps. So we got a few of them out of the way. We're not going to get the cool robot catch today, but next time. But the fact that it's launching in space, that, that the, the gas is fire, or the fuel's firing off, the, the, the rockets are working in space, is a big deal for the company, especially because they've had so many issues up to this point mm. to get this thing working to the top of the line. But that's iteration. You have to do that. When we went through you know, the Mercury, the Gemini, and the Apollo uh, missions, they had those over and over again, where you took little baby steps and you have little failures along the way and eventually success. So there's not really failure in the space industry, it's just little little failures that lead to further success. That incremental progress right. that happens with these kinds of things. Well, uh, as we're looking live again, you can see uh, some sort of debris or maybe parts of the device there coming back into the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, just give us a little bit of a moment to watch this all unfold as you've been joining us. Uh, we're watching SpaceX Starship launch from uh, South Texas there. There it goes. Okay, it's trying to land, look. So that's, it's slowing down, it's firing its boosters to slow down. Uh, maybe it will catch, let's see. I don't know how it's gonna, or is it just gonna plummet in the ocean? Y'all, y'all, there it goes. And that looks like it's landed in the ocean there, right? Yeah, it looks like that's the ocean. Yeah, okay. so it just landed, they can pull it out. It's, so that's pretty good. I didn't get the full catch that we, we like to see, but uh, hey, the fact that that's one thing I love about SpaceX's rockets is they do that cool slow down gesture where it fires the rocket off and slows down. Sure. That's how they're able to land it on the ships at sea, hmm. and that's how this thing will do it later on. Well, this is truly fascinating to watch everybody. So uh, again, we are going to be monitoring this live feed, but we want to get to some other news and stories of the day. So again, stay with us as we're monitoring the situation there, uh, just in Brownsville where the SpaceX launch has just happened moments ago.